All right. Excuse my appearance. I have been sick the last day. I got a zit that just decided to come out of nowhere, and there was a four-person homicide on my campus. Obviously, I don't want to diminish uh, the four lives that have been lost on campus. I don't know who they are. Some of my co-workers knew who they were. They were part of Greek life. Um, there have been no details that have happened, but the whole town's shooken up. I haven't left the house for two days because um, we still don't know what happened and who did it. But I just wanted to acknowledge that in case this video is different in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, we're going to be unboxing this today. Let me bring you in for a closer look. All right, dumpster divers. So today we are unboxing the deluxe aerial gift set. Um, I was waiting for this to come to the USA. I didn't want to pay scalper prices. And um, I don't know if it ever showed up or not. So I ended up having somebody from London ship it to me. And I would have to say that so far it looks worth it. So I'm super excited to get in here and check it all out. It comes with Ariel in her blue dress, the Prince Eric doll, the boat from the Kiss the Girl scene, and then a couple of her other outfits. So it's a great little set. We have some of that beautiful Ariel artwork, Ariel in her ensemble, Sebastian in the background, obviously. And it looks like a wrist articulated Prince Eric doll. And then here's the back of the box, just so you can take a look. And just so you can see that I bought it from the UK, there are a bunch of Euro pricings, which I don't know what that means. And then here's a continuation of Ariel's art on the side. Very pretty, very colorful. But all right, guys, let's go ahead and get this bitch unboxed. All right, guys, and here's the gift set outside of the box. We have her outfits, Prince Eric and Ariel in the boat. And then these little things are supposed to be coming out of the little figurines, but they kept breaking off. So I'll have to super glue them back on, but they're just like little water things that they're spitting out. And then there's Sebastian. Let's take the dolls out of the boat. So the boat is like a bunch of different pieces. We have the paddles with the singing frogs, obviously. And then you can take the boat off of the water stand and it just becomes like a regular boat. And then even like the things that hold the oars, they're pivotal. Like it's a pretty good little boat considering that it's just like a hunk of brown plastic. And then the water base is pretty cute. Like I said, these little guys are pretty fragile and they do break off really easy. So just be careful if you do end up unboxing one of these things that have been out for over a year and it's taken my lazy ass this long to film it. But let's focus on the dolls. All right, so obviously we have another Prince Eric. Um, this is the new one in the boat. This is the one that I unpacked from the last unboxing. And there are a couple of differences here, but not that many. This Eric is looking a little more forward towards Ariel. This one's looking off to the side. This one has more blue eyes. This one has like smaller, more silver eyes and different articulation and everything like that. Okay, and then apparently this Prince Eric has a deeper skin tone than the other Prince Eric you can see there with their arms and hands. Both outfits are held together with Velcro and then they have slits in their boots. But now the biggest difference with our newest Prince Eric is he is more articulated. So it's the standard where you can move your head from side to side, but not up and down. He is articulated in the shoulders, the elbows and the wrist. He pivots at the hip. He has a knee bend now instead of a bend and snap knee. And then he also has ankle articulation. And then next up is obviously Ariel in her blue peasant like daytime dress. I don't know. So you can see she has like the newer Disney store makeup, face sculpt, all that stuff where they do like a lighter eyeshadow. Hers is like a little bit silvery. And she has a ton of product in her hair just like as much as almost like that ballet Ariel doll. And then she has a big fabric bow in her hair, which is absolutely adorable. And then one thing I appreciate is they did like the full sleeves for this dress. They didn't like skimp out like they do with the pink dress, which I understand it's hard to get a doll's like hands through tight sleeves, but you know. And then the bodice piece is just a dark blue that doesn't go all the way around. Um, because I don't think the Disney store likes to do black on their Playline Ariel dolls. I don't know why. And then her skirt is just like this nice blue. She has little black shoes, so maybe what I was just saying earlier doesn't make any sense. And then it's all held together in the back with one piece of Velcro. She has the very standard Disney store articulation where she can move her head up and down and side to side. The shoulders, elbows, wrist, she can move and pivot at the hip. 
She has the bend and snap knees and then the flat foot with no ankle articulation. And then she does come with that standard pink dress that we put had in the last video. Um, this one just has a little bit more glitter on it, but it's the exact same mold, everything like paneling, all that stuff that they always use. And I'm not going to put her in the dress because it's a pain in the butt and I like her in her blue outfit. So I'm just going to keep her in it. And then her tail does come, like I said, where they do the stretchier fabric with the uh, scales painted on. This one literally looks like a bunch of these cheap knockoff ones I got off Amazon for like $5 and it came with like six. So it's, uh, it's very chintzy. And even here on the bottom, you can see that it's starting to like stretch and like fray and everything. So it's very cheap fabric, but it's still something cute to include in a set. Like some kid's gonna love it. And then obviously just like her purple clamshell bra, which um, it's a little awkward and off to the side a little bit. There we go. And it's not focusing. There we go. But yeah, let's come in for the final thoughts. All right, Dumpster Divers. So that is the set a little more up close. Um, thank you for letting me do this. This was a great distraction from everything that happened this week. I think it's fine, especially for like the regular retail price and everything. There's a lot of really good pieces in here. They did a really good job with the Ariel and Eric. The boat, the molding, everything is cute. It's just like the little like fish sprays. They're a little sensitive, so you got to be careful with them. Understand they're going to break more than likely, so just have some super glue handy. And yeah, I'm really okay with it. Um, I'm gonna keep Ariel in her blue dress, obviously, cause like we don't get to see her in this a ton. And this articulated Eric is probably gonna be my favorite Eric I have out on display now. But I don't know if I would pay exploitative scalper pricing for this, cause it's gonna be a pain in the ass to ship. This thing was huge. When I got this shipped from the UK, I think I paid just as much to get it shipped here as I paid for it. And that was still cheaper than paying a scalper, but that's insane. So I don't know. That was like a year ago. It's I've had this in my closet for a while, just waiting for Ariel Month to show up. But if you guys have the set, let me know. If you had the original one that they released a couple years ago here in the US, let me know, because I think it's like slightly different. And yeah, I would just like to know like what the difference is. That's it. I forgot I have laundry upstairs. Okay. I will see you guys in the next episode where if you're going to kiss the girl, you better ask for her consent, Sebastian. Eric. All the fish and flamingos in the grotto. Bye. So you know that scene where Scuttle's like trying to set the mood? That's how my throat feels right now. I feel like I just got fucking railed by at least like three truck stop dads. <clears throat>